Here's the second bag with the lining. Ta-da! Um, I just might try putting the handles on this one. I'm finishing this one off. I mean, I think that's the way to go. And uh, let's just see what this over here. Remember, this is really thick webbing. Um, I bought this for my granddaughter's tote bag. And I was thinking, oh, how am I ever going to sew through this? Because you can't really get a pin through it. Um, but I was. I was able to sew it onto her tote bag. So. If I do that, hold on. I don't have this on the stand, obviously. I could. I think the handles need to be too awfully long. I'm trying to conserve as much as I can, but still give you enough room, obviously, to carry it with. I think that could work. I think that could work. I don't think that takes away too much from the pinwheels if I do it along this edge of this one here. So you know what? I'm going to try sewing this one on. I'm going to do it. I'm going to see if I can finish one bag. And let's see what it looks like. And hopefully you'll be okay with it. I have one side sewn on. So we are getting there. I have to do one side at a time. This is where the strips are joined, so that was really thick there. I won't have that on this side. But I start like in here and go across there to catch the uh, underlayer there. And go up this way. Do your X. And then come back down this way. And go all the way up to this end. Do your X. Go across and then come back down. So that's what I got to do on this side, and then the webbing will be on this one. And we hope that everything matches and the handles are the same length and all of that good stuff. And then I'll uh, sew up the side seams.